everyone! Today, I'll be showing you how to draw and color a shoujo style manga eye. So first, you draw a curved line above. So that will be like the eyelids for the eye. It's okay if it's gonna be kind of sketchy since I'm still gonna fix it. So the app I'm gonna use for today's video is Ibis Paint X. And I'm gonna show you also some tips and tricks on some other parts here in Ibis Paint. Okay, so this is what the eye now looks like, but I think it doesn't look that good. So I'm gonna use this tool called Lasso. So I could still adjust it. I'm gonna press that adjusting tool and use Mesh Form so I could still adjust. I'll just also use the rotation tool to rotate it a bit and make it larger. So the mesh form tool is a tool that you can use to adjust something on your drawing so it would look better. Okay, so I'm gonna make the process just a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few more adjustments. Okay, so now the eye looks kinda good now. I'm gonna make now the iris. So I'm gonna use this ruler tool and it's the oval one so I can make it like more bigger, oval, or a circle one. So I'm gonna make it oval one. So you just trace it and then I'll turn it off and I'll make a few more adjustments. I think the bottom part of the eye is kind of long. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a line in the bottom of the iris. Also in the past few days, we actually reached 34 subscribers. Thank you for your support and keep liking and subscribing to our channel for more updates. If you want to do this on paper, you can sketch it first, then take a picture, and then you edit it on Ibis Paint. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the eyelashes. I'm gonna add like three eyelashes. So I'm gonna make my brush a bit thicker. And the brush I'm using is called Pen Fade. There's also another brush I recommend to use, it's called Dip Pen Hard. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the lines a bit thicker and more opaque. gonna do is we're gonna make a smaller oval for the pupil so you can use the ruler tool again so you can make a perfect circle or oval so I'm just gonna adjust it to make look like an oval since I'm good I'm making like an ovalish iris 
It depends on you if you want your iris to make it like a circle or an oval. For me, I will use an oval. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make an even smaller oval. That will be for the iris. And um, I'm gonna erase some parts that overlaps on the iris like that other line we're just gonna erase it a bit so it won't look weird so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the color for the iris so I'm gonna make some lines and we're gonna do like a gradient so we're gonna make it darker to a lighter so you just make some lines or you can also use some screen tones to do this part or you can just simply color it if you're doing this digitally you can lower the opacity of your pen so you can make the ingredient or you can also sometimes blend it or maybe smudge it if you're doing this using a pencil and the paper you can darken the pencil and make it much lighter so I'll make like a gradient. You can erase some parts to make it more lighter or maybe smudge it. Also, this is the same thing you're gonna use for the iris. Also the same technique from the dark to a light like a gradient. You're gonna use the eraser tool and make it small and then just make some circles to add shine. You can make them sometimes big or small, it depends. The brush I'm using for this is the felt tip soft. Um, another tip is the other part we just did earlier, the shading gradient part for the iris and the pupil you can make another layer so you can like erase the other parts of the eye okay so next you're gonna grab again the oval ruler and then you just make an oval then you can add another layer for this one and just trace it you can make it darker or lighter okay so now I'm gonna erase some parts like the top part of the oval and I will, I will lower the opacity of it And then you can take a small eraser and then you just make some eraser stuff and just erase some part of the oval. Then I'm gonna add um, a shading on the eye where it's like the white part so I'm gonna use black and then I'll cover just the upper part of the eye and then I'll adjust it and we'll lower the opacity One more thing to add is add some eyelashes on the bottom part of the eye. So that is it of how to draw a shoujo style manga eye. Now let's move on how to color it. Ok 
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is coloring the eye. So on the layer button, you press that and then add another layer. Put the new layer on the bottom of the eye layer. So I'm gonna use now the bucket tool so I could now color the eye. It's just a base color. You could choose whatever color you want. For me, I'm gonna use like a sap green color. Then you add another layer. It's now called a clipping layer. So now I'm gonna use a darker version of the base color. So go back to the color wheel to make a dark green. This will be like the darker part of the iris. So you're gonna make an oval. Make your brush just a bit bigger. Then you can use the oval tool like we used from earlier. Use it so your oval looks much better. Then you can adjust it when you're done. You can make it circle if you want. If your iris shape is circle. After adjusting, you can now color the sides. You can use the symmetrical ruler, so both of the sides of that dark part of the iris will look equal. Okay, so you make another layer, then it's also called now a clipping layer too. Then you're gonna make an oval or use the oval or just not use the ruler tool, but for me, I like using these ruler tools. Then just adjust it a bit and you just make a line on the bottom for some more details. Then use the eraser tool, make it smaller, and then just erase some parts of the oval that you made. Then it's also for extra details too. Then you wanna add another layer. It's also a clipping layer. This layer is now going to be for the even more darker part for more like a realistic and a more detailed look. Now what it looks like so after that you make another layer so the next layer is now for the pupil now for the pupil you use the lighter green and then make your brush a bit bigger so you can make the oval for your iris So 
the next thing we're gonna add is the glowing part or like the shiny part on the bottom of the iris so add another layer blending mode is on add and make sure it's not on clipping and then you can add other colors like blue or purple or other colors you want so after that you can now lower the opacity so it will not be like super shiny then now we're gonna add the white parts put your brush on dip pen hard and use the white color and just make an oval or a circle so you can add shines on the eyes And the last part is we're gonna add a bit of shading on the white part of the eyes. So make another layer, use a gray color, and then just like what we did earlier, we just apply the gray and lower the opacity and erase it. So that's basically it. If you like this video, you can press the like button. If you want more videos like this, tell me in the comments down below. In the past week, we just gained 10 more subscribers and our latest video got 110 views. So thank you for your support and keep liking and subscribing to our channels for more updates about our new videos we will keep on making entertaining and helpful videos for all of you thanks for watching if you like our video like subscribe or comment down below see, see you on, on our next video, video.